Hey, Mr. Ambo down there, do you mind chucking a Yui? I think old mate on the ground here needs your help. Oh, he's definitely about to need your help after his bus does a number on him. All hail the banana bridge. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love the banana bridge. Uh <laughs> All right, peeps, welcome back to Upper Height, episode 38. I'm just chilling here on the Constellation Apartments, my favourite little apartments to relax and enjoy the city. Seeing the reservoir fill up doing there. You know what, we're not that far away from filling it up. Let's have a gander, eh? If we can do one here, we can see how we do the fuck out on ya! Boars! I seem to have some spiky water. Imagine you're just bus surfing and you hear Russian water behind you, turn around and you're like, what is going on there? Bus driver, hurry up! Alright, let's get into the speed one. Alright, let's come out to photogenic mode. Oh my lord, look at the state of the map tiles. That is a bloody spiky map tile, that like. So what's going on there? Do I have a big crater or something? Ooh, I have a big crater. Oh, and a while of what if I zoom in too much? What on earth is going on here? Let's resume the game, see if it gans away off. It just sits and bloody glitches and spikes its way all the way through. It's propagating, it's propagating! Stop, 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 pause! What on earth is going on here? Oh my lord. This is a tidal wave and a half, this like. Whoa, look at the size of that big block of water. I didn't have a bloody ditch anymore. Oh no. That is a mountain of water over the top of the dam there. We'll let it resume at speed one. Uh, flashing. Uh, it's calmed down, it's calmed down. The, the mountain of water has gone away. Has it leaked our other side? It's definitely leaking. It's definitely went our other side. What's going on here? Where's the water going to go here? Let's pause it. Let's get some contour lines out. Ooh, that water's going to go straight down into this bloody forest out here. We're going to be having that. Emergency flood defences. Right. Um, let's see we take this level here. And I just want to come out a bit like this. I meant to use slow terrain. If I right-click this level up here and then just come up a little summit like this. Have it looking a bit less ridiculous. And then we can smooth it out a little bit. Right, knew that what I should flow doing into here. Are we flooding over this side? We are, but the high rises are safe. Let's resume the game. So what's the crack there? Is that a speed three thing? Because I know that happened in City Skyline. So I'm going back up to speed three. If the water starts kicking off again, we know that's the crack. And it's just, we can't do speed three anymore. Is speed three not allowed. Well, let's see. You know what? I, I could use the sun here to show a little... Oh, it's spiking, it's spiking, isn't it? Ah, uh, it's spiking. Back down to speed one. All right, so speed three spikes the water. Let's let the water calm down. Get a bit less spiky. How emergency flood defense is coming along. That looks like it's doing the job. Are we flooding anywhere? Oh, I was just about to say we're flooding down here, but that's not. It's just a little island that I left in. I tell you what, there's not much left like for it to fill. Has the water calmed down now? The water has indeed calmed down. Let's try speed two. We'll see if speed two breaks things. All right, speed two looks to be fine. For scientific purposes, let's go back up to speed three. And it shouldn't take too long. The water should start spiking. And then we've proved our little theory here. That this reservoir is far too powerful for speed three. Oh, there it goes! It's kicking off! Alright, speed one. Let's stop that straight away. No one likes the spiky water. Least of all me. Oh, hang on. Let <laughs> I gotta jump in first person mode on this bloody bus here. <laughs> Does it look crazy? Can you even see? There, uh, somewhat, maybe. Not really. Alright, now we'll calm down fairly quickly after that one. We do still have a little bit of fill before we start flowing. Are we making power here? Nay, power production! But there was a big moon to know what I can! I suppose most of that water did just fly over the top of the damn lake, to be fair. To be fair. Well, I know we can do speed two, so let's at least do that. That'll help this reservoir fill up nice and speedily. And then what's the crack with this little one in here? I got disconnected bloody power lines. High voltage numbers and all. I would have disconnected that for a reason. Or did I think that was a low voltage power line? Where are the rest of our high voltage connections? We have one down here. Okay. We need to reconnect this bad boy back up. Let's connect in here. Cross underneath the railway line. And then I'm going to do tiny little connections to try not to bloody create a little dam under this bit of river here. Because I spent most of the lap last episode cleaning it up. And then now we're on the little island. We connect in like that. And now we have high voltage power. Now actually, how is our power situation because if you remember on the last episode we deleted this little dam down here you can even see the old foundations there on either side where it used to dam this entire river but i am perhaps rightfully so concerned greatly 
with the risk of flooding in this foggy, foggy mountain village here. Well, city. Absolute metropolis. Well, thriving metropolis to be precise. But yeah, now I want to check how is our electricity doing. We're not making it off. We're importing though. That's all right. At least we we'll actually have some power. Oh, that's why. I thought the patch note said I had to like click on a city policy thing. Where's the policy? City policies. Is it in the picture of the city by any chance? <laughs> there they are. Yeah, I don't have import city services on. That doesn't include electricity. So, all right, now so that makes sense. That's fine. Ooh, high speed highways. Well, I've got sound barriers up anyway, so why I get that on? Advanced pollution management reduces air and ground pollution. It produces more garbage. Now, I would like to do that, but that does lead me very nicely onto me garbage problem. This wastewater treatment plant, minus 50% efficiency because of piled up garbage. Our geothermal power plant, that probably could just power the entire city without any imports, minus 50% because of dodgy garbage collection. And the only reason we have these two water treatment plants in the first place is because garbage piled up in all of these little slopers and our shite island here. In the last episode, we took the recycling centres to only dis to only work in their neighbouring districts. And if we have a look at this recycling centre here, it's got all of its vehicles in use. But if we look next door, we've got a big industrial waste processing site. That's no one yeah that's using about a fifth of its vehicles there can you just put out more vehicles please and then we can sort out this issue we have we know are we actually processing enough over here we are let's have a look at the other recycling center over here yeah you've got all your vehicles in use and your processing speed spot on landfill little over half your vehicles in use and your processing speeds just about there there's not much of an overhead like but i believe thanks to one of the updates actually let me just make sure that these trees are dead before i plop this on here yep these trees are dead as can be let me actually adjust this fence back and then while i'm at it i feel like i may as well give them something to do you know what i mean damn it i flew too close to the sun now i need to do the whole thing again and there we have it a big mahusive forestry industry. And you know what I can do? Because I've got good old fashioned anarchy. I can get into vegetation, get some spruces with a multi tool, maximize the strength on that bad lad, maximize the size, and I'm going to plant a nice young forest here. All inside of old mate's farm. Make it worthwhile for him, you know. He's got a big old construction on the gun. And by construction, I mean operation. Speaking of, how many employees do you need to hire, mate? 468 Woohoo! like i said man has a fair dinkum operation on the gun here you know what let me plant loads of trees up here and i'll there we're gone now, i did notice while i was over here that there's another forestry industry and i went since i'm blatantly disregarding the old map tile boundaries let me expand this farm as well and then i'll get the expand in this forestry industry upside the other one and there we're gone We've got all of the forests covered new on the bottom side of this mountain. So this fella's also operating a big old operation. Ah, uh, you nearly up to 300 employees. And then the old forestry save that we saved at the beginning of the episode. That's all the way up to 84 employees. Cheeky little 30 upgrade. Now let's have a look at where we are on here. We're just about where these two cross if we look from sort of this angle here. And then to the top we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. May as well go 7 because that'll take us right to the tippy top there. We've got seven more lengths to go, and then I believe the base of this one is the level of the dam, essentially. Yeah, there are thereabouts. Seven levels to go, and we should be making decent little power, which should be able to stop importing power. Although we're making a tidy little 13.68 megawatts. With 1% efficiency, I may add. Ooh, we got a little not enough buses symbol, is it? No vehicles? Ah, yeah, right then. So, are we maxed out on buses here? 105 out of 105, we most certainly are. Well, let's plop this upgrade on the end here. And then let me sort out the road. And then we still have some vehicles left over now, so hopefully that's all we need. Oh, that was employees, sorry. <laughs> vehicles in use. We're still not using them all, so hopefully that's all the ones we need. Well, this busy, busy bus stop isn't kicking off anymore, at least if not else. Oh, you can see the underground servo there if you want to go and fill up your car. Which you can't drive on these streets anyway, so I'm not exactly sure why there's a servo there. All these buses are electric and can drive through hills anyway, so nothing will stop these bad lads. Well, apart from maybe a pedestrian or two. You know what? My plan was to pop a recycling centre on the end here, but I think it's too big anyway. Yeah, just a bit. Just a bit too big. 
Can it fit on the top here? Like kind of, but not really. <laughs> you know what? What if we get an incinerator plant up and running? That would sort our electricity issue out. Even though we don't have an electricity issue, we have a garbage issue. But it might be a little... What we do with... Nah, that's a... Because once this dam's up and running, I'm probably going to delete this geothermal plant anyway. So I don't want anything else that just produces electricity. And there's definitely no more upgrades I can do for vehicle capacity here. No. You know what I might do? Because the only reason I built this landfill here was because of those garbage piling up icons and trying to figure out if it was just rubbish that the recycling centers weren't picking up. So let's bulldoze this bad lad, because I'd rather not have a landfill to be quite honest with you, and replace it with a recycling center or two. Maybe only one, because I'm going to have to pop an extra road in just to connect that together. Do I just do recycling center road there? <laughs> Why not? There we go, recycled lane with a whole extra vehicle in use already. Now for this recycling centre we want to select the operating districts on this side of the mountain here which will be proper up height, mountain town and mountain city. And you know what, we may as well get the bloody extra vehicle depot on there. We're going to use them anyway. Oh hang on, isn't the recycling centre already over here? There is? I was going to say I'm pretty sure I already plopped one over here, recycling centre. And that's literally only operating in Roondaboot Toon. Well let's use this recycling centre here, take off Roondaboot Toon for operating districts. So this is only operating in upper height there. It's not crossing any rivers. I mean, do a proper recycling centre and a proper upper height here as well? We could. We've got a bit of space. Will it fit around the back here if I pop one? Yeah. If I cheat, it will. But you know I don't like cheating. I'm not a big fan of it. Don't like exceeding map limits or anything. Actually, now I don't want to check. Uh, did that little flood that we had with the spiky water cause us to flood? We do have water in the stream. I don't know if we've got any more water coming down. We're not flooding yet. We've got a little bit of land to go, and I don't mean that sarcastically. We have a little bit of land to go before we start flooding. And I don't even think we're flowing yet, despite the fact that it looks like it's flowing. But I, I just want to make sure that it didn't come up and wash over here and wash all this away. Now, how are we doing over here on the crematorium? Spot on, basically. Absolutely big chilling. That'll be because someone went on a big deletion wave in between episodes and deleted all of the houses that had waiting for horses on top of them. Now, I'm trying to look for the horses over here. How are you doing? Big chilling as well. Oh, it just updated there. We're not big chilling. We're a bit over capacity there. Can I do anything about processing speed? More horses? Storage? Don't have a problem. No, I just need more bloody crematoriums. Well, let's do that. Let's do more crematoriums. Pop a crematorium next to the post office. They can share a bit of driveway there. I don't even care if they bicker about it. We may as well upgrade the additional incinerator. And then we now are going to want plenty of these bad lads kicking around. Can I pop you on the corner there? Just like that? And then can I turn snapping on? Plop you there and that fixes it? It doesn't. Okay, cool. Let me delete that. And then let me let me move this out the way if I knew. Oh, I can't. Because if I do this, it breaks the... Yep. It breaks the divided lane. Alright, move it, mod. Control Z. There we go. I moved it so they're no longer overlapping, at least as bad. Operating districts, just ruined about two. And we're going to out to this crematorium over here. Your operating districts are just proper upper height. And then can I squeeze, say, like, just the tiniest bit of commercial in there? Will it actually spawn? We'll see. We'll see. Well, actually, now I probably could do with that because the path's on the left. Let me move this all the way up to the road so I can move this up a little bit more. And then I might be able to add another one. We're snapping off. Right in the corner there, like I was trying to do on the other side, but it'll actually be connected because the little path, and by path I mean road connection, is on the left hand side of the model there. So the horses can get in and out like nobody's business. Now my concern is, do we have a crematorium up here? Crematorium? Police station? Post office? Do not see a crematorium like. Let's have a look, medical buildings over here? No crematoriums whatsoever. The only medical building we have over here? Is our bloody new medical clinic that we put in last episode. Ooh, we got snow up here now. That mountain toon and the mountain city are all snowy. Look at this. I haven't even seen it snow yet, the mountain city anyway. What a beaut. What an absolute beaut. Tell you what, let's go up on the top of the mountain where Constellation Apartments are. Here we are on the mountain peak overlooking Constellation Apartments. You can see the reservoir filling up nicely there. It's not spiking, which I love. You can see the mountain too now are there on the first little mountain. And if we have a walk over to the other side of this ridge, you can see the mountain too in V2. Including our little connecting road over there that goes into that tunnel. Isn't it an absolute beaut of a tune? Let's have a little walk down there so we can have a little look at our brand new estate. Look at that post office sitting by itself. I tell you what, the rain is fully sideways up here, like. I'm gonna, I need to run inside. Oh, I'm back inside. It's no good, because the second you step outside, the rain just... 
power washes you in the face. It's no good whatsoever. You try and sit out here and just enjoy have a cup of and that you just get absolutely drenched. I mean, if you're into cold showers, it'll be a candy little adventure for you this like. But anywho, without the rain noise, look at that beautiful mountain tune there. Sorry, mountain city. That's the beautiful mountain tune, which we're going to have to go all the way to it to here to see. I'll tell you what, there's truly no demand for high density residential, is there? Yeah. If I wait long enough, they will come. Like this one date here. Imagine you're a resident in this block of flats here and you're just used to having all this space to yourself. And then one day, you walk outside and it's just nothing but skyscrapers. It'll all look like that doing there. Anywho, without any more distractions, let's get a crematorium placed up on the mountain. Actually, is this working fully now? Yeah, so we only need 111 buses. So I could pop the crematorium on the end here. You know, a little something like that. We'll get the incinerator on the gun. And we'll get the horse garages on the gun and all. Oh, I can do me little trick as well on this side. Get this little horse garage. You know what, actually, let me snap on there first. And then I'll pop that one on there. That way I don't have to worry about the snapping breaking when it comes to placing the one on the corner there. Let me squeeze a cheeky little number in there now. And then, yeah, I was going to say, I believe I might have to do a bit of terraforming after that cheeky little uh, placement. So let's do a little bit of terraforming. Get all of this looking schmoovers. There we go, and that looks a little bit nicer now. Nothing professional, but a little bit nicer. And ye are going to work inside the mountain tune and the mountain city. And it can easily service both sides of the mountain through this damn connecting road here. Right, so now we have death care, health care. Let's have a look at education. Oh, where did that just place? I just placed down a school somewhere. Where is it? It's over yonder off the map and everything. I think. That is the school, isn't it, that I just placed? Just hanging out on the mountain. Can I go see it? Let's have a look. It's in that mountain there. That one there. Nah, can I see it? All right, bulldozer. Please bulldoze that elementary school. You already had elementary schools up here. Completely forgot about that. I built the whole school district down here. We've got a school right there next to it. And a school up the top here. Oh, Retinas again. Uh, elementary school. We may as well plop the little upgrade on there for that. Get a bit of skies gone. And then elementary school doing here. Do we need to keep you? What's the elementary school up here looking like? Yeah, I think we're just going to delete this elementary school yet. I'll be quite honest with you. Yep. Get bulldozed elementary school. You're no longer welcome. You're going to get replaced with lovely little mixed commercial use buildings there. How was there a crash up here? I would love to... Oh my lord. Um, let's just say these people are having a little game of roly-poly down the hill. That's all that's happening. Don't worry about it. However, Mr. Bus Driver, do you mind stop being this um, pedestrian on the road there? You might have maybe wanted to stop, not run them over, but, you know, it's a pedestrian street. I suppose buses have right of way. No, not another one. Bus stop! Not again. These poor pedestrians that have just got hit by what I assume is this van here. If they are alive, well... Old maid here, who's slowly rotating, he is certainly no longer alive, even though he's blinking. Because he keeps getting ran over by every bus that comes up the road. <laughs> oh no. Hey Mr. Ambo down there, do you mind chucking a Yui? I think old mate on the ground here needs your help. Oh, he's definitely about to need your help after this bus does a number on him. Oh, Look away! Look away! Let me just take my magnifying eyes out. Oh, not that far! That'll do. Ah, we still got these two roly poly and doing the hill. I love how the bus drivers just go for the absolute kill shot, like just splice them in half. Are we clear? Well, at least the vans are each. Look, the van's spot on, the van's chucking a U turn. Are you getting ready to murder some more pedestrians, are you? Watch out, by the way. There's three years here. This van's known to make people roly poly doing the mountain. Aye, we saw you. I mean, we didn't, but we saw you. Look at the van, he's driving down, being like, look at the hose. <laughs> oh, old mate on the sports bike here, just straight out of the heat of the roly poly man. <laughs> old mate in the but an old mate in the van they'll cause the whole thing, couldn't care less. Let's see, is it actually just like straight out of the heat mode here? Oh, it was like, old mate just got a big haircut there, like, yeah, yeah, I'd be pretending to be a teapot too, mate. Anyhow, as fun as it is watching people getting ran over and rolling down hills. Well, one more bus. Okay, look, there's a convoy of buses. I can't stop at what I can't stop mid convoy, you know what I mean? All right, we're officially no longer convoying. 
Let's go back to normal gameplay. And oh my lord, look at the absolute schneck of buses that's gone on here. This state of this. It's because it's not ruined the boots, that's why. You know what? I'm gonna fix it. I don't even care. Ruined the boots. These are just small ruined boots, aren't they? Yeah. Let's get small ruined boot here and here. And then we're gonna use the move up mod to get these two nodes and shift them our a little bit. We're gonna do the same with these two nodes our here. Oh, there's only one node. Shift it our. Oh. I guess uh, I messed with your zoning. I wondered what happened there. You can get rezoned. Maybe this little corner can get zoned as well. Why I? Why I? And I think traffic will be much freer flowing up there now. You know what we don't need? We don't need bloody crossings there. This whole street's a pedestrian street. I'm thinking I want to up the lanes here as well. Let's do that. Highways, two lane highway, just like that. And then I'll do the same on this side as well. Just like that. You know what? I think we're going to have to actually redraw those. Right. Were those both drawn in? Let's do a bit of lane management. Hey, <laughs> whatever you want, mates. And then now I hear, nice clean exit. Look at the pedestrians using the little pedestrian about and that. I mean, not a single one of them's used the pedestrian about since I've said it, but you know, we can pretend. Just like we can pretend the snow's not melting in a very, very short fall. Snowfall, that is. I'm not talking about autumn. It does look like any leakages that the dam spilled because of that bloody spiky what a fiasco is now sorted because it's starting to dry up here. Which means the water's just gone and done. Like now it's a matter. Ooh, big bunch of upgrades over here. I like that. Oh, I just upgraded a big 115 employee number. The employees will work like zombies now. Speaking of, one of the zombies working there it doesn't even have a bloody road connection or a pedestrian connection. Must be a remote worker. Let's sort that out. Ye, back to the office, mate. Oh, look, you can see them. Is that ye sitting in the car there? In the souv. Mate, helicopter, can you... Calm down, please. All right, fly away. Fly away where I can't hear you. All right, so we're following old mate in the souf here, who I think is going to work at that new office. Aye, look, it's all highlighted. So old mate, instead of going around the main road, decided to take a shortcut through in the middle here, through the alleyways. But they're back on the main road. They can fly now. They're going so fast that my focus is shifting into oblivion. Uh, I think we're back in the real world. We are. We're going to chuck a right turn, just a quick whoop to the right. Watch out for the pedestrians. And then you're going to have to get our uh, couple of lanes to the left, I think, mates. Or at least you're off the office is to be concerned. Oh, what a street this is when we come doing. Quick left. You've got your office on the left again. Are you going to decide to turn left at the very, very last second? Oh, no, you're in the wrong lane. Are you going home? Why were you over there if you're going home? Well, we get experience these tunnels anyway. Motorway tunnels that have pedestrians in them. You're taking a U-turn? Why are you getting around again, mate? Where and what and why are you going? And you're turning right again? And I'm like, yeah, this is a cheeky little shortcut turning right here, but it's whatever. Is that the dam you can see in the background? Wow. That dam is something else, like... I thought it was just, like, some dodgy loading. But, like, old mate's not taking the same shortcut. You would have turned right there. So old mate's taking a different route this time. I would love to go up to speed 3 and see what the crack is, but that is just not acceptable. Unless I want to... Alright, right, I'm, I'm doing speed 3 because I want to see the spiky water from this angle here. I don't know why, but I just do. Well, I do know why because I'm sure it's going to look... There it is! Look at the spiky water! Imagine driving along and you just see that floating in and out of existence in front of you anyway. My vision's going blurry. I'm going back to speed 1. Let that calm down. And I think I'm just going to let this lunatic drive around. All right, so it was this lunatic here. Where are you going? Destination? The office? Yeah, you literally just drove past that, mate. You just drove past it. Are you trying to park here and then walk to work? I'm I'm curious now. All right, speed two. How are you getting there? I assume you're going to turn right down that alley, go across that roundabout, and then turn left and go to here. And do a little bit of GTA style following at least. This is more like GTA 4 style. No, oh, no. This would be more like GTA 4 style, yeah. You're just hanging off the bump. I'm barely able to see in front of you, just slapping into all the tail lights. I like the handling and everything in GTA 4, but... I prefer to just be like either directly behind the car or like slightly off to the side, not necessarily hanging off over here. Although it does make a canny little cinematic while we're driving through, I will say that. I will say that. Oh, watch it, you're gonna get cut off. Aye. Alright, so he's in the left lane, but he needs to turn right to get to that place where they were parking. You're turning right from the left lane. What? Now you just. What? You're going in big loops, mate? We. Right, so. 
We've successfully made it one more lane over to the left since the last time we made that right turn. <laughs> well, I mean, we do get experience going through this little turn again, like, and this turn is a ruddy cool, even if you do get cut off by a box truck. Look at that! Oh, I'm a bit concerned about the traffic on the Grand Bridge there. Why is that? All right, now, are you, you indicating left? Oh, yeah, because you're just turning left. Oh, I want to see these again. I want to see these tunnels again. Let's go into first person view. Let's go! Look at these tunnels. Now we go through. Oh, no, we do a dodgy little turn right at the end. Can I stop that from happening? And that will be a negative. They just cross between these two here. We'll probably see, well, maybe both of these cars do it. Why not? There you go. Look, why would you do Ah, don't concern yourself with it too much, Migli. It just pisses you off. There's the SUV. Now, you were going to park, like, here, weren't you? So where are you going now? You know you could just turn right and then turn around at the roundabout. But you're going straight again? You're on a never-ending loop, mate? To get to work? Oh, my lord. Uh, this traffic is caused by dodgy mergers that I can't control. See, we've got decent mergers there. Look, let's try... If you're in the left lane, you're turning off. And I'd love to be able to see a get in lane right here at this point. Well, actually, it wouldn't be at that point. It would be way back, but whatever. You know what? No, I shouldn't have to do that. I don't care. B traffic. I've been distracted long enough. I want to pop some parking over here. <laughs> Let's have a look at our parking buildings. This is... I need to tick this box again, don't I? Box is ticked once again. What is a big laddie like? That is a bit of an issue. I wanted to sort of fit it there. Like, like here, basically, but this needs to be even smaller than this. What about the long parking lot? I might be able to get that on the gun. Oh, no. Wide parking lot's what I want. Oh, too wide. What about a modest parking lot? It's not too bad. I might be able to do a canopy lot there, and then a modest one just beside it here. I think if I turn snapping off, I'll be able to do this knee bomber. And now we've got a bit of parking that's been instantly used by Big Sedan here. Now, I wonder if we wait around, wait for that SUV, there it is. Don't think it was Milo. Different SUV, if we wait for an SUV, see if they use any of these parking lots. What do we have here? Well, the parking fee needs to be 42, first of all. 42 centi pence. 23 slots there, and eight slots there. And the underground parking buildings are 200. Yeah. This type of parking is not high density. Get deleted. You know what, I do want to get an automated parking building here, somewhere at least. Well, does that fit without being too crazy? Because I do like it there. That does fit without it being too crazy, especially if I get the snapping off. Let's squeeze this bad lad in. Ooh, I could potentially pop it here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, redesign's happening. There's going to be an automated parking building. Right there. Let's bulldoze everything that can be bulldozed here. Let's use the move-up mod to get this node. Creep it up here just a wee bit. There we go. Now there's no little issues with that. I think I'll just use the move-up mod again. Or oh, let me control Z. Anarchy off. Now we use the move-up mod. And it should. It didn't, but it should delete all the trees. It's probably something I did wrong. Don't blame anything. Let's go in alt mode here so I can adjust this curve. We'll have it swinging out like that. And then we'll have it a bit flatter, a bit less pointy this time. There we go. Little bit of a rework redesign. And then connecting this in, I just want a simple small one lane road. We're going from there all the way to there. That looks a little bit better. Apart from the fact it's made a retaining wall. You know what? Let me quickly move this out the way. Gannet the landscape in here. Terraforming. Right click the top. Start from the bottom and just make a nice little ramp here. All right, now that I've fixed the zoning, let me try and plop this little parking garage back on. The slope terrain, and it should be nice and smooth. Now, is it nice and smooth? Oh, now that is decently smooth, I must admit. Let's see if we're getting this one lane back in. Well, in. Looks a bit dodgy. Oh my, what is it? <laughs> I love it. Is it made a roundabout? Is that an actual roundabout or what? No, I can mess with all three of these intersections. This isn't a real roundabout. It's just done something wild. We've got a lane selection thing now. What is this? I shouldn't I shouldn't mess with it if I don't know what it is. Yeah, let, let's not mess with that just yet. I absolutely love this. There doesn't need to be any crossings or bloody red lights on here. So let's sort that out. All right, now let me have a look at this. That's actually not too bad. I thought it was going to be like a big massive hill in the middle, but that actually looks... Pretty decent, I'm not going to lie. Pretty darn decent. I'm hesitant to mess with this in case it, like, fixes it. But let's see what I can do here without fixing anything. Oh, I can't see. Yeah, I'm just going to control Z that. Go back to stock. There we are. We got stock streets the way they are. This isn't Cedar Street. This is Parkin Street. If you're going to Parkin Street, you want to be in the right lane. And then let's just turn all of this dodginess off. And this right lane doesn't do anything. Should I upgrade this to be two-way? 
instead of three. Or is that going to break something? Don't know if it'll break it. It looks like it's trying to upgrade the whole road, which is a bit uh, sketch-like, so I'll just not. I'll just not. I'll just have a wasted lane in the middle there. Don't worry about it. And then let's pop this up to 42 centi pence. Actually, let me make sure I've got all the zoning set correctly here. Any of these smaller squares here, I just want to make low density. Bit of that low density action there we can. The officers haven't decided. Yeah, see, the officers just keep breaking for some reason, even though it's on this bloody side of the place. There we go. Get some officers in there. You didn't break any more, did you? No, right. Now we should be canny. You know what I do want to do? I want to get a little bit of a path on the gun here, just to knock off the arse end of this zoning here. That way, we can get a little bit of commercial on this side. You know, people should be bloody dying to get in here now. Oh, actually, we need to connect this path up again. Now, can we use... A fancy park because look we do have a fancy park there anyway but can we use a fancy park to connect these two together like i do know we have the old passage park that is a tad large at like now nah, i'm just gonna gun path again paths would even destroy well any zoning i'll try not to destroy any zoning here can we sneak a path in there nope honestly i don't think anything's going to spawn there anyway so sneak a path in here along the back like that and then let's see if we get a path start it here have it schneck out to there and then back in a little something like that that's not too bad on the zoning. And then once people have parked the cars, they can walk all the way up the middle here, all the way up the alley, and get to work out there. Or connect this little path here. And that does leave me open for a little bit of low density commercial along the front here. Oh, that's right. There was a little bit of low rent housing. I think it was that little block there. This is still happening. Look at the state of the traffic. Halfway across the Grand Bridge because people can't decide when they want to merge. How are day in back here on this main road, the new road there, the new road that we upgraded? How are day in our eat? We're getting a decent bit of traffic over here, like I must admit. I might do a bridge. Actually, what's the crack with this bloody path? There's a path here. Does the path go anywhere? Follow the path. Why is there a path here? It'll destroy zoning, okay. I can see why that path's not connected then. But I do want to use it though. For some reason, I put a path there back in the day and I want to use it now. AKA, it was all planned. Oh, it wasn't, but you know. Now, I want to test something with these Runda boots. I think this is a large Runda boot. Yes, it is. Let me pop that in. And then the bulldozer. Get the bulldoze individual objects. You can bulldoze the sub-objects of these happy days. Or at least I wanted to bulldoze this tree in the middle, which I can. And I'm happy with that. Because look, look at the amount of pedestrians kicking off over here. And I do hear a train. Do we have a subway station nearby, or is it just a subway line underneath one? Oh, we have a station here. Oh, that's why this path... Oh, yeah, because this path, I think, goes straight all the way up, doesn't it? No, that's a different part of the city. If I come over here, I'll be able to find it quick enough, because it's where this little park path ends. Yeah, here we are. From here, we've got a path that goes all the way down the city here until it hits the next farm. And then the farm, I said, nah, no path on my land. Get yourself around the corner. Then the path continues around the corner to be what was the end of the city here. Anywho, our here. There's heaps and heaps of pedestrians and we want to get them off the roads because the cars and loads and loads of traffic. So let's do that with a fancy little pedestrian bridge, shall we? No, I think that looks lovely. And it even deleted the... Oh, no, it didn't. Just when you zoom out, it looks like the tree's gone, but it's not. All right, tree, can you come back, please, so I can delete you? I think it did. Whatever. I'll come back. Uh, yeah, tree. Right, there we go, the tree. But when I pull up the bulldozer, it gets scared, look. Watch. Tree's there, bulldozer, tree gone. Well, let's connect this magnificent cable stair bridge here up to that lovely path on the side. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring this dude. <gasps> that looks awesome! I was not... That wasn't the plan, by the way. That was absolutely not the plan. But I am having a banana bridge. All hail the banana bridge! <laughs> Oh, I love the banana bridge. Uh <laughs> <laughs> oh, the fucking banana bridge. <laughs> oh, I need to pull myself together so I can finish this. You know what? The rest of this path here has got to get done in speed, speed mode so I can just laugh. <laughs> Not have to keep stopping. <laughs> Alright, so that's our banana bridge connected up there, at least on this side. I would like to try and get a connection in the middle. Let me see if I can come off halfway down here. Just have a finish above there, and then bring it down to zero meters. There we go, and I think that looks alright. It's high enough and everything. That it is. Perfect, perfect. Now I'm thinking for this side, let me come off from the roundabout here first. And then we're going to schneck underneath the banana bridge, and just connect on a little something like that. Deed boring like. 
Apart from the magnificence that is the Bernardo Bridge, it's a very simple little structure. Get pedestrians from either side of this roundabout to either other side of this roundabout without stepping foot on the roundabout. Speaking of, let's get these crossings removed. No more crossings, and just to be safe, no more red lights. And this bad lad should be very, very much free-flowing now. Oh my lord, imagine you're driving up here and you just see the dam, the mountain, you can even see Constellation Apartments if you squint, and then the big Nana Bridge. B-E-A-Utiful! Oh look, we've got a horde of pedestrians going across the Nana Bridge. Let's jump in with Sasha here. First person view. What's going on, Sasha? How's the Nana Bridge treating you? It's a canny little view, like, as you can just... Oh, whoa. So I'm getting a bit blurred vision going up this hill here. It must be a steep number. But if I wanted to cross onto the other side, I would take that exit, but I clearly don't. I, I think I need a rest with my blurred vision. Like, But like I say, other than that, we're about to cross onto the bloody Nana Bridge here. Oh, look at this. Straight onto the Nana Bridge. We'll have knee vision problems as we cross onto here. Or at least we shouldn't. We're going downhill. Can you chill out with the bloody... There you go. We shouldn't have any more vision problems. I've just jumped out a little bit from old mate here. Sasha here. She needs a pair of spectacles or to open her mouth when she's gone uphill. Oh, look at the pedestrians using it. Every which way they're going to use it. I think there's one more little connection I want to try and pop on here. Because I do know that this path on the other side, we checked and it goes nowhere. Can I pop a path? Just here, where we've got this little bit of office zoning that isn't used. If I literally just pop it straight in the middle there, in between these two, are you going to be happy? Ah, it is, it's happy! Let's delete this little nonsense off the end here. Now, can I connect anywhere up here without destroying zoning? Ooh, I might be able to pop a little path in between here without breaking any zoning? Question mark! Why I? So now pedestrians have an actual reason to get up here. They can gun connector there. Can I be crazy? Can I pop a little path in here without breaking the zoning as well? Oh, I can. Double path for shits and gigs. Ooh, can I pop a path here? No, that's too big. All right, peeps, we're just going to climb the ladder here, get on the roof. Look at that lovely arch bridge over there. But we're here to look at the big Nana bridge. Look at that beaut. Let's watch the trucks can run underneath it. They absolutely love flying about. A free flowing intersection with knee pedestrians on it. Because they're all on the Nana Bridge here. <laughs> Beast of a bridge. I do like that arch bridge as well, like connecting Roundabout 2 and Orba Height. And how's my dam looking? Is my dam flowing? Is it spilling over the sides? Dam, are you spilling? It is! It's flowing! It's spilling! Ah! What? Right, 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 right. Ah! Stop! Too big, great. Calm down, pause. Breathe. Is this real? Is it actually doing a thing? Power plant? 99% efficiency! Ah! Ooh! Now, I may, you know, we'll, we'll hold the panic for a bit for our 20 kilowatts of electricity production. I tell you what, we're not doing anymore. We're not importing any lecky. We're exporting 158 megawatts. We've got plenty more to export now if we ever get run to it. But it looks like we're legit like over spilling on the side here. But yeah, we got water all the way down the side of the dam. So we are at the level we need to be at, aren't we? Let me zoom in here. Yeah. So there's supposed to be loads of little circles and I can't see them, which is I think means we're at the level. Let's get to the middle. Yeah, the spillway level's definitely up there. And doing at the bottom, we're getting water from everywhere. And you know what, peeps? I think that's gonna be a problem for future Migley. Look at the amount of water that's pissing out of the side, man! Eee! Reet, before I have a mild panic attack, I'm gonna save the game. We've at least made a 38 episodes into this city. <laughs> Will episode 39 be our last? <laughs> Alright. I'm gone now. I'll see you next week, peeps. And uh, we'll we'll deal with this shite. If anyone's got any ideas on how to deal with this, please let me know. Comment. Let me know. I will take any ideas. Because I think we're about to have a bad time here. Anywho. Peace.